today uh, we will practice dungeon tapping and I will explain how to do dungeon tapping and benefit of dungeon tapping first any exercise you need to make right posture first make your feet 11 so many people walk stand toes outward so when you stand this way it give more pressure to your pinky toes heels and more pressure to your knee to your lower back so make your feet 11 this way so most of your weight put on your big toes then heels and also this is occupation point we call yongchun this is a kind of a center of a foot so you can put your weight around yongchun between yongchun and big toes and then you can feel your weight more most inside than outside the line and then first your hips roll back a little bit push it forward you can make a straight your rib cage and then naturally you can feel tension around the core area and then after check open chest relax the shoulders this is always a basic right posture and then bend your knees a little bit for pressing big toes yong chun point more and then your shoulders can relax easier And then let's just start exercise first make a fist like this but keep relaxed shoulders first uh, you can start tapping from belly button two inches below tap and then after tapping that vibration spread coming into your abdomen let's try again with the other fist different vibration again again so you don't have to make a distance a lot even you can do this much but focus on vibration so when you start feeling vibration little by little you can move both fists together so during the tapping you need to focus vibration so vibration is coming into your abdomen so around this area lower abdomen there is a biggest lymph node so about 70 percent immune system is related with this area lymph nodes so when you tap you can naturally stimulate your lymph nodes so also around the 40 percent 30 to 40 percent blood stay here okay, it can help improving circulation and then when you keep focusing on vibration you can feel getting warmer from belly button to inches below 20 inside we call danjeon dan means energy jeon means center so you can send the vibration to your dungeon point energy center so when you feel outside here we call key head point you can feel vibration so that vibration is coming into your dungeon point keep focusing on vibration and keep breathing out so when you exhale your shoulders neck can relax easier and then feel warm energy spreading coming into your abdomen breathe out tapping tapping vibration vibration and then now you can feel or usually within five minutes you can feel heat inside and then when you feel warm feeling around the dungeon area next through tapping you can feel that vibration spread to your lower back so when you keep focusing vibration to your lower back even lower back area can be warmer okay, keep focusing on vibration and breathe out so during the tapping when you feel warm feeling you can feel more saliva in your mouth and you start feeling more relaxation neck and shoulders your mind is calm and more relaxed not like a busy mind okay stop massage abdomen So keep focusing on vibration 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 so first time you might feel not comfortable so you can start gentle tapping but when you feel getting used to tapping you can try a little bit more make distance between your fist and your abdomen and then you might feel 
pressure and then when you are getting used you can feel better too so little by little you can make more space and you can gain strength of core too focus on vibration your dungeon point getting warmer warmer and then relax and breathe out breathe out deeply you can breathe in better too <sighs> keep opening chest make sure your posture make all right keep straighten your back feel vibration and you can feel warm energy vibration 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 stop massage abdomen Did you feel warmth? So through this exercise, it can help releasing tension, improving circulation, and relaxation body and mind together. But key point is, can you feel vibration and warmth through tapping? Okay, let's finish.